Last week, I challenged you to think about what you're fighting for. Are you fighting for your limitations or are you fighting for what you want? And I got some fantastic responses from you about what you're fighting for and the things that you really, really want for 2023 and, and beyond. And that's awesome to hear from you. So now I want to give you an exercise to add on to this. And if you didn't watch the video from last week, go to the YouTube channel, check it out, or go to your email and you'll find it in there where I explain a little bit more in detail what I mean by fighting for your limitations versus fighting for what you want. But in, today, in this week's video, I want to challenge you with something that might take you a long time to do. And this is something that I've been working on for at least six months, maybe even nine months, and I still haven't completed it. And that's okay. That's okay. But it is all about what you want. So here's the challenge. Think about what you want. And it doesn't need to be just for this year. It doesn't need to be just for the next quarter. It can be for far beyond that. But what are the 100 things that you want? Literally, what are the 100 things that you want? I don't, I don't mean just like grow, grow your business or to have an enjoyable family life. I mean, what specific vacation do you want to go on? What iPhone or Android phone do you want to get? What type of pen do you want to have? What do you want your microphone to be as it, for your podcast if you have a podcast? Or what water bottle do you want to have? Or what coffee do you want to drink? Right? The silliest of nuances of things that you want and the biggest of things when it comes to health for your family, health for yourself, or fun things that you want to do, or adventures that you'd like to see other people experience, or giving that you want to do. Whatever it is, your wants are going to be completely different than my wants, and that is a wonderful thing. But again, the challenge for you is, if you're not going to fight for your limitations next year, then what are you going to fight for? And if you make a list of the 100 things that you want, that will help you to know what to fight for. So I want to challenge you to do that over the next several months to come up with that list of 100 things. I quickly came up with about 40 or 30. I can't remember exactly how many. And then when I got to around 60, I stalled out for a couple months. <laughs> I, I kind of forgot about it. And then when I'd look at it, I'd read it through and I'd be like, yeah, that's everything. Well, recently added some more and I can't see the number from right here, but I think it's right around 70. So I added another roughly 10 to the list. It takes a while, but that's a great thing. So what do you want? Come up with a list of 100 things you want. Don't be shy. The smallest thing matters and the biggest thing matters too. Put both of those on your list. Put it somewhere where you can see it consistently so you're reminded of those things. And you'll start to fight for what you want instead of fight for your limitations. All right, have a fantastic week.